Keep it simple, Anthony. Uh, first of all, hello, but how are you feeling? Uh, getting better each day. Um, getting treatment, you know, doing exercises to strengthen and get the groin straight. That's, that's about it. Yeah, how is how is it? What's it been like for you, uh, mentally, physically? You know, watching the team struggle. Uh, you had been such a key difference, of course, uh, as you always are in two and three. What what has that been like? And is there a confidence level that you have any indication as to if you're going to be able to go tomorrow? Um, it's tough, you know, uh, especially last night. You know, watching the game and um, you know, not being able to help the team on the floor. Uh, it's the toughest part, <clears throat> knowing that I could, I couldn't contribute. Um, you know, my body just wouldn't allow me to. Um, like I said, as far as tomorrow, um, you know, I obviously want to. Uh, I'm still waiting to get medically cleared. Um, you know, with the groin. Like I said, I'm doing everything. You know, treatments around the clock, and um, you know, it's just with me all the time. You know, with the treatment and the, the exercises and the rehab stuff to. Um, you know, see if you know everything's uh, is green for me to to go on the court tomorrow. Today, Eddie, hey, you pushed through the knee injury to play in Game Four, and you told us like no chance you were going to miss it. Uh, did did the knee contribute to the groin? Like, were you trying to land a certain way on the <coughs> play up, and that led to the injury? Can you walk us through what happened. Yeah, they uh, they told me everything's connected, and that's exactly what happened. Um, the groin, you know, happened because of the tightness in the knee from the hyperextension. So uh, that's kind of what it was. Uh, just went up for uh, – was feeling the knee kind of the whole game. You know, even the first couple of plays uh, was feeling it, and then just uh, went up to try to lay the ball up. And, you know, as soon as I, like, went up, I just felt it, you know, from my knee and shoot up into my groin. Um, and that was that was kind of the end of it. So, um, but yeah, they told me that it was you know from the knee that went that caused the uh, the groin injury. Bill, KD, last night there were the two times pregame you came out onto the court and looked like you're trying to get a little at least a little work in. Um, how? Um, what were you feeling in those in those in those short sessions and? And how hopeful at that moment were you that you were still going to be able to to play in the game? I mean, did, was was it what you felt on the court there that kept you from playing, or were you um, at that point probably pretty aware it wasn't going to happen last night? Um, the first time I came out and shot, uh, you know, I think just jumping up and down, just you know, the normal basic shooting, spot shooting was fine. It's when I tried to run um, and push off. Um, that kind of bothered me. My shooting time is always two hours before the game. So um, I literally came straight to the arena, put a heat pack on, and went straight out there. So uh, didn't feel good. So I went to the back, got some treatment for about 20 minutes, uh, got it loose, um, and then went back out. And you know, nothing's changed. Nothing changed um, from the running to, to pushing off. So uh, I just wasn't able to, to really move. Um, you know, and every, you know, move that, you know, we make, it it starts with the groin. You know, any other injuries, the knee and all that, you can kind of, you know, finagle a way to, to, to move. But the groin is, you know, um, a tough place. So, um, you know, just wasn't able to, to do it last night. And then a quick follow-up. If, if tomorrow it's the same as it was last night, does the, the thought on whether you still try to get out and, and play in the game change because it's an elimination game? Or does it, 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 it just it physically can't be done? Um, I don't know. I mean, hopefully, you know, all the rehab and, and treatment that I'm doing, um, you know, pays off. And, you know, the doctors uh, clear me to go tomorrow. Um, you know, that's what we want. So, you know, like I said, getting more treatment tonight, um, tomorrow, um, and, and, and kind of talk to the doctors before a game, after, after, well, before and after our shoot. And, and uh, hopefully everything comes back good where they, where they clear me. So uh, that's what we that's what we were uh, hoping for. Dan, Eddie, you and LeBron were in the locker room at the end of the game um, before it finished. What were you guys talking about? What was the message? What does the message need to be to the team as as, as the team's leaders um, after a loss like that, going into a game that decides sort of the season? 
Um, I was getting treatment. I didn't even know Brown was in there, so I didn't, I didn't see any of that. I was in a training room getting treatment. Um, so when I went in there, the game was over and the team was uh, um, coaches in there when we were talking after the game as a team. So I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. So second, secondarily, then, I mean, what, what, what then? What do you think the message has to be to the rest of the team um, after you know guys weren't playing confidently? passing them shots and stuff yeah. like that between that, that loss and, and tomorrow? Uh, just got to play confident. We got to play uh, a sense of desperation, um, toughness, heart. You know, uh, that's it. Guys can't shy away from the moment. You know, we got to be able to, uh, you know, knock down open shots. Uh, we have not been shooting the ball well um, in this series. And, uh, you know, if we make shots, it's a different series. You know, we just got to be able to make shots. Guys are getting to the paint. And guys are, you know, finding the shooters, and you know, our shooters got to be ready to shoot uh, and shoot the ball with confidence, like they've been doing all year with no hesitation. Seems like we hesitating a little bit, um, and if we do that, just shoot the ball with confidence and, and, and you know, trust your work uh, that you've been putting in, then you know, we, we should be fine. Last three, uh, Melissa. Um, you talked about how difficult it was to move yesterday. Are you experiencing that same soreness and pain level today, or does it feel a little better? Uh, it gets better every day. Um, you know, it's like I said, any movement you do, well, that I do, um, starts from the groin area. So, um, you know, walking, whatever it is, you know, it's always, um, you know, aggravating that that's that area. So. Uh, like it's getting better every day, and and like I said, the treatment helps. Um, the exercises help. So, you know, each day uh, I'm getting better, and you know, hopefully tomorrow I can I can get clear. Last two, Alan Sliwa. Hey, do you just, just want to get your thoughts um, on kind of the every time it feels like you guys start getting into a groove, something happens. How frustrating has this season been as a whole? That it seems like you guys start hitting a groove and, you know, another setback, whatever the case is. How, how have you managed to, I guess you could say, deal with that throughout the process? Um, it's just been, you know, the tell of our season. You know, just been like this all year. Um, start from the beginning of this season. Um, injuries, COVID, you know, you name it. Uh, we've been through it all. So, um, you know, we've had where, you know, guys didn't play and, you know, the next guy steps up um, all season and um, we're going to need the same thing. Um, so it's something that we're used to. You know, we don't like it, but it's something that we, you know, have have gotten used to because of how weird the season has been for us. Hey, and last question, Michael Duarte. Hey, Coach, hey, you need to piggyback off what Dan said. Throughout the game during timeouts, you know, you were heated, talking to your guys, trying to encourage them, build them up. Uh, what were you saying there? And then late in the game on the timeout, you were nodding up and down and did six fingers for like game six. Was that was that a more message that we'll get him in game six or that you might be back for game six? Um, I was just trying to motivate the team uh, in the huddles. Um, you know, not being out there to play, I just, you know, try to do my part as one of the leaders to, to motivate the team and give them um, – you know, that extra push that they need to go out there and compete. Um, and then, you know, I was I had it a six finger because, you know, it's still a game six. It's, you, you don't win with three wins, you know. Uh, you know, we still got uh, a game tomorrow, which is game six. So um, whether, you know, we win by 30 or lose by 30, um, it's still another game. Uh, and the same way for tomorrow, you know. Uh, you know, get tomorrow and there's a game seven. So. There's, you know, you don't win three games in a playoff series and win a series. And so, uh, you know, we still got, you know, no matter the result of last night, um, you know, we just didn't want to go out that way. We wanted to keep fighting. Um, but there, no matter if we won or lost, there's going to be a game six. And uh, that's how we, that's how guys got to look at it. We got another opportunity tomorrow to, to uh, even the series and then uh, go to Phoenix for a game seven.